We all know that some people in the magic community are toxic and negative. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So uh, it's kind of like a meme from back in the day where, you know, somebody new shows up to the LGS and all the entrenched players just scoff and make them feel like, uh, you know, they're less. And, and look, the Magic community has not always been known to be welcoming and um, easy to talk to. Look, I'm trying to change that. There's a lot of people involved in my community that are trying to change that and my grouping of channels. Uh, we try to be friendly to even those people who are brand new and we try to welcome them with open arms. That's besides the point. One of the most toxic places to um, interact with now, I mean, places now is the internet okay like people are keyboard cowboys there they're such <laughs> people say things that they'd never ever say in real life because they're behind the screen they have that layer of anon uh, anonymity when people don't think that they're being recognized as an individual they act like total douchebags you know, like traffic, people cutting you off when you're just trying to get off the road, stuff like that. That happened to me the other day. That's why I have that specific answer. <laughs> we were in traffic. and I'm in the left lane. I wanted to make a right turn off of the road where the traffic was. And I put on my blinker and I'm trying to go over. And this freaking lady, she wouldn't let me into the lane. Like, it was such a struggle to just get over and make a turn it's like look i don't want to go in front of you i want to get off the road I... <laughs> so when i'm talking about negativity and the internet a major place for purchasing and selling magic the gathering is facebook <clears throat> but that's also one of the most toxic places you could ever be in terms of um, magic you know, you'll make a post with an honest question and people will put you down and make you feel like you're dumb. I see it way too often. And, you know, it's just individuals inquiring about price or inquiring about an item. And it doesn't cost you anything to give them a real answer. It doesn't cost you anything to give them a dick answer, but people still do it, you know. So why not just give that reasonable and correct answer and be what people are hoping to encounter what people you know uh, they're not going on to the internet to be made fun of they're not going on to Facebook and like reaching out and showing a vulnerability to be smacked down and stomped on and it's not just the individuals in the groups you have to know that the moderators of these groups are just as much um asshats okay even famous people in the magic the gathering community can be real douchebags okay if you're going to interact in these communities you can't let it get to you because oh so quick you can get frustrated and angry and upset and and to let an interaction uh typed on facebook ruin your whole day your week or your month oh man that's it's so negative and like poisonous I've found my interactions, especially with moderators, to be quite um, lacking and toxic. Um, I don't need to talk about my specific uh, experiences, but it's very interesting to see that, you know, what little tiny power <laughs> some people get it goes right to their freaking heads and, oh, I'm lord of this or lord of that and, you know, I could be a douchebag. It's just another nerd. I'm a nerd. It's just another freaking nerd sitting behind a computer. So, you know, when you see these types of responses, don't take it to heart. Just keep on going because you have to know. Don't don't quit either because these tools are very important. The things that you can find on Facebook in terms of what you have access to and the, the real pricing because you'll see when things sell and when they don't. Um... 
like I said, it's an important tool. And to let a, a few, I don't know, douchebags, I don't want to make fun of any, I'm not going to go any further than just calling them douchebags. <laughs> I was going to go on a whole line, a whole rant of <laughs> making fun, but yeah, that's stupid. I don't need to be like them. You don't need to be like them. Do yourself a favor and just don't, uh, there's no reason to be a douche in the comments. People do it because it's the first response. They think they're funny. Maybe. They think it's entertaining. Maybe. But all I'm asking of you is to just take a moment and reread what you wrote. Does it come off uh, dickheadish or not? You know, like, that's all. There's some major negativity out there. Don't let yourself get caught up in it. Don't let yourself um, participate in it. You are not like that. All right. Um, repacks. You got the commercial coming up. Otherwise, remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon channel memberships. Uh, all the fun things. Take care, everyone. And peace. <laughs>